The decision to move the World Cup uh, to the winter has been everywhere. Everyone's got their different opinion. Me personally, I think it's just diabolical. Uh, as I know Pablo was talking about there, it's probably the only decision you can make with the situation you're given with. But it comes down to the leader, way before this decision was made, the leader of FIFA, which is Sepp Blatter. Uh, many guys have watched our clips before. They know my perspective on him. Uh, I will try and save myself the anger of getting into it and an artery probably bursting. But we'll talk about Sepp Blatter or... This is a segment we've done before on, uh, uh, on uh, Jay Cutler, and we talk about people who could do his job potentially better um, than Sepp Blatter, which means everyone in this room probably could do it right now better than he could. Uh, but we're going to look at some of the examples. So first and foremost, the people who are actually running against him at the moment, and fingers crossed they break through and manage to overthrow him from his FIFA dictatorship at the moment. So first up is Luis Figo, who has publicly came out and said that he wants to be uh, the next FIFA uh, commissioner, as you say, here in the United States, you call, you've got Roger Goodell as a commissioner. So what do you guys think, first and foremost, Luis Figo? Damien? Uh, I think Luis Figo, from what I know, would be great. Yeah. I mean, he'd certainly be the lady's choice. Yeah, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's always important when they make a commissioner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, I mean, he, what he's competing with is not really a lady's choice. Right. I mean, yes. we're talking about Sepp Blatter, a man who said... It's not women, women's choice. Women, women should wear tighter shorts <laughs> yes, when yes. they're playing to, to attract more feminine viewers, yeah. uh, to, to look more feminine right. is what he said. So uh, I think anyone, this is an easy one, anyone is an improvement. I don't know enough about Luis Figo's credentials as a, yeah. as a potential commissioner. Uh, he seems like a serious man. He was a wonderful player. That doesn't really mean so much. Yeah. Uh, he gets my vote. All right. um, and then we go through. So we, I, apart from Luis Figo, we know David Ginola is coming up. Um, he's trying to make his case, but Platini, 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 he's got to leave UEFA and just take over FIFA. He's done a great job with UEFA. He was an amazing player. He's French, and you know the French. They, <laughs> they're quite well, cool but, sometimes. But, but Platini, do you he think he'd smoke he would... a cigarette at the top of FIFA <laughs> and be like, "I'm going to fix this whole Qatar situation"? <laughs> <laughs> so, but the thing with Platini, my French accent Platini, to Russian there. yeah, Platini <laughs> and Sepp Blatter kind of have are a little bit in cahoots, are they not? And I think that would he be able to take his position? Would he want to take his position? I don't know. That's a different debate altogether but other ones we have is Jose Mourinho we know the special one uh, could potentially be a, a great commissioner I mean no one would really argue back with him he'd probably complain about everything in general and he would never hold himself or his staff accountable because he is the special one so he's a good one my obviously one of my personal favorites the greatest manager I think to have ever graced the game Sir Alex Ferguson who resounds from where Damien he's from Glasgow he's... oh yeah he's from Scotland a good manager himself led Manchester United through all the years Great candidate as well, but let's look at some of the more fun choices that we have here. So, King Joffrey, yeah. Game of Thrones is one that we've got th uh, thrown in there because he was thrown into power uh, as a young king and now basically just makes some of the worst decisions you've ever seen and craziest decisions. So he probably could beat Sepp Blatter as a whole. Um, Kim Jong-un. What do you think, Mike? Do you think he could be a better commissioner? Than <laughs> Thanks for coming to me on Kim Jong-un <laughs> and none of the others. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from, the, from the sound of it, uh, if you said everybody and anybody in the studio could be a better commissioner, then I'd have to say that Kim Jong-un right in the pack of people in the studio right now. So, <laughs> so yeah, he could probably took be. over, let's be fair. I mean, soccer salaries for the players have gone up incredibly. The yeah. sport has never been more popular. Of course. The World Cup keeps getting better and better yeah. ratings. So we can't totally rip them. Who but defends it's... Blatter? Who are his uh, defenders? Like, who, who are the people that say... He's actually not so bad. Does that such a person exist? I don't think yes, there are his many. Name uh, his, his name is Pablo Osina. Well, you know, yeah. I defend that part, but I think Blatter would definitely be one. Another one would be Julio Grondona, who was his right-hand man for yeah. a long time, Argentina man. He, he passed away. But, but Blatter, the best thing about him, he's always said, I'm leaving. This is my last. This is my last. Oh, yeah. This is my last. He's been saying that more than Fidel Castro. I so, mean, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the argument I have with you uh, on this is, like, it's been given keys to a brand new car when you're an, an inheriting such a beautiful sport that, in my opinion, grows itself because of its popularity and its culture. It is a culture. You're engrossed in it. It's never going to be unpopular no matter the decisions you really make. You, do you think t 20 years ago when you were watching the game and someone came up to you and went, they're going to introduce goal line technology to stop the game later. Do you think people would turn around and be like, oh my God, I'm never watching it. You, you can make decisions like that in the game and it's still going to be popular, but it's his personality and his dictatorship of the sport. And he does, on a financial aspect, this game is supposed to give back to a lot of communities that are involved in it. Brazil is not better off since the World Cup. And the, uh, Manaus is still uh, feeling the wrath of building a stadium for a team that only has 100 fans there to that's, be able to go. That's not Blatter's fault. Oh, that that's is the Blatter's. politicians in Brazil. Mm, but it's, hey, it's him there's put, there's it's pockets him. being filled all over the place. You can't only blame the guy who's putting out the money. Well, if, but that's, that's, that's true about anything. But if you are the president of the United States, you're going to take the forefront of most decisions. And if you are the president of FIFA, you're involved in the final say of what, uh, what country gets given to the World Cup. Don't get me wrong. 
these countries that have been given the World Cup should not be given the World Cup in the first, in, uh, first place. To have Brazil followed by Russia and Qatar is not the smartest decisions. I don't know how much Blatter is involved, but he could absolutely stake a claim. Well, so you think those he's very involved in that? Yes, of right? course I mean, he That is. would be a, a huge well, part of he, what he, he does. He can't get away from the smell of corruption. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So there's a strong sense that corruption makes all of these decisions. I mean, un almost unannounced two weeks ago uh, came a very sort of low-key... A uh, press release that said that Fox and Telemundo have got the television rights for the 2026 World yep. Cup, I yes. think it is. No bid, no bid process right. whatsoever. And a lot of that is believed to be appeasement around the Qatar World Cup because that's going to interfere with American sports. And right. Yeah, and the, and the unilateral like move to, to the winter, for right. which may have been, you know, in terms of climate, the right move. But yeah. the right. question whether you put a, a tournament there. And then, and then you know, th this whole notion if they want to grow the sport in America, and of course I'm looking at this from the standpoint of an American, and most people sure. don't, but that, that that's a bad time of year to be showing absolutely. soccer yes. in, in America. Yeah, absolutely. H hence what they believe is an appeasement decision to give the TV rights to, 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 to Fox, Fox and Tillman. There's yeah. a saying that I like from my country, which says, the best president is the one who steals the least. I mean, they're all <laughs> going to steal. They're yeah. all going to be corrupt. So careful what country, you wish for. they may have even killed. Well, so, yeah, careful so. what you wish for. If you take out Bladder, yeah. you know, who's going to take his place and how, you know, what's going to happen afterwards. But that's why I think Michelle Platini is my man. I think uh, that's a good choice. Safe choice. What, over what is a better choice is a uh, principal building from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> I mean, he, he really he knew how, uh, how to understand Zach, uh, the troubled teen who was with there. He's, he'd be great to understand all those characters in the game. And then finally, and he's probably available. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> available. He's not, Saved by the Bell has been away for a while. <laughs> and finally, rounding out our list is our very own Jenk Uger, who uh, potentially would probably put his name fourth for the position, but based on his World Cup predictions, in which he started off by saying Spain were going to win the World Cup, and then after a horrific loss to Holland, he switched and went to Holland straight away. So he may be a bandwagon. And he looks like this Figo went to like a, a plaza in another city and got a caricature done of him, <laughs> and it came out looking like Jenk. So that works well, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's our list rounding up. Uh, Sepp Blatter, or make sure to leave your comments in the section below. Who do you think should be taken over from Sepp Blatter on a serious decision, or will the dictator continue to have his uh, reign in FIFA? Hope, let's hope not. So uh, thanks again. Check out all of our hosts, um, and make sure to subscribe to TYT Sports.